Chris. Now we are off to Journal Square. So please welcome the Fine Arts Gallery at St. Peter's University. Thank you everyone at Art House Production for another exciting virtual JC Friday. I'm Beatrice Mady, the director of the Fine Arts Gallery at St. Peter's University. We are pleased to present James Posterino's series, Sound of a Star. Jim needs no introduction in the Jersey City arts community. He is a multi-talented artist, curator, art, art organizer, and the director of the drawing rooms in Jersey City. Trained at Carnegie Mellon University, his focus was on printmaking, drawing, and painting. He has exhibited throughout the United States, and this will be his third solo exhibition in New Jersey in the past two years. He is a recipient of a New Jersey State Council on the Arts Fellowship for painting. You can see more of Jim's work and hear a more detailed explanation of his thought process and influences at stpeters.edu forward slash fine arts gallery. Now let's take a look at his work. The concept sound of a star is itself something of a paradox. Yes, stars do make sounds, but no, since the sound can't travel through the vacuum of space, we can't hear them. To take the paradox or the contradiction further, the title suggests that the work is a depiction or representation of sound. I like this notion of the sort of semi-impossible puzzle. It emphasizes or goes well with how I structure these paintings. They are not planned out. I build them piece by piece, one part responding to the other. And it often feels very much like an impossible puzzle to get everything to work together and to create a composition that has a tension and that also holds together. This idea of everything about to fall apart or about to come together, the notion of building order from chaos, is integral to the work. I remind myself to keep math in mind while I'm making these works. And at the same time, math keeps presenting itself and needing to be dealt with. How does math present itself? First, we have the overarching concept of math as it relates to our understanding of the space we live in especially the celestial or cosmic space the theme refers to. Trying to envision or imagine events in a curved grid is just one aspect of geometry I encounter. Another is the forms that I create and how they intersect. The first decision that must be made for any of these pieces is the proportions. The size and the height to width ratio dictate much of what these paintings will become. As I develop the composition, I build larger and smaller movements, and I consider the rhythm of the colors. I often think of the colors as notes that have specific sounds. The composition works when these are all in balance or harmony. Further element of movement I consider but can completely tie down is the illustration or depiction of movement that takes place along with the compositional movement. 
This piece was one of the few for which I came up with the title first, and the challenge was to make an arrangement that would embody the whirlwind. Memory is the catch-all. Memory is on this list because I have to remind myself to remember, to search my mind as well as all my source materials for elements I can build into these works, for inspirations to solve compositional puzzles. It's important to me that I not only rely on painting language, the visual language of art history, but also on all the images of popular culture that I've encountered from childhood till now. I hope this allows me to create a rich and genuine expression of my experience. Myth is the engine for all the work. Myth makes it a series. Myth drives the content, the form, the choice of color. The myth is that ideal that seems greater than ourselves, but comes from ourselves in response to the world around us. The artwork seeks to embody the myth and relate the sense of myth to the people who encounter it. This happens both in the making of the artwork and in the viewing. So in this piece, Light Like Sound, the struggle and the energy of making the work is evident in the form of the actual painting.